we currently understand uh, very little about the human brain. Do you also hope that the work at Neuralink will help us understand more about our about the human mind, about the brain? Yeah, I think the work at Neuralink will definitely shed a lot of insight into how the brain and the mind works. Right now, just the, the data we have regarding how the brain works is, is very limited. You know, we've got fMRI, which is, that that's kind of like putting a, you know, a stethoscope on the outside of a factory wall and, and then putting it like all over the factory wall and you can sort of hear the sounds, but you don't know what the machines are doing really. You know, you, it's hard. You, you can infer a few things, but it's very broad brushstroke. In order to really know what's going on in the brain, you really need, you have to have high precision sensors and then you want to have stimulus and response. Like if, if you trigger a neuron, what, how, how do you feel? What do you see? How does it change your perception of the world? You're speaking to physically, just getting close to the brain, being able to measure signals from the brain yeah. will give us sort of open the door in, in, in inside the factory. Yes, exactly. Being able to have high precision sensors that, that tell you what individual neurons are doing and then being able to trigger a neuron and see what the response is in the brain. So you can see the consequences of, of, of a, if you fire this neuron, what happens? How do you feel? What does it change? It, it's, it'll be really profound to have this in people because people can articulate uh, their change. Like if, if there's a change in mood or if, if they've, if, you know, if they can tell you if, if they can see better or hear better or be able to form sentences better or worse, or, you know, their memories are jogged or that, you know, that kind of thing.